Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about factoring trinomials. And we're going to factor each completely. Okay? So if I was given this trinomial, n squared minus 11n plus 10. Okay? Now, we have an a value of 1, right? The coefficient in front of the n squared. And so we're going to ask ourselves this. What two numbers multiply to be our c value, that 10, but add to be a negative 11. So what two numbers multiply to be 10 and add to be a negative 11? Okay. Well, if you think about it, our two numbers, well, what about negative 10 times a negative 1, right? Negative 10 times a negative 1 is a positive 10, but negative 10 plus a negative 1 is a negative 11. Okay. So we can break this down to be two parentheses here, like this. Okay. And Let's take the first one, n minus the 10, and then n minus the 1. So we take the two numbers that we found right here, okay? Two numbers we found, we're going to put them in there and break them apart here. It's two different n values. And you can also see if, you, if we multiply the set back out distributed, we would get what's up above, right? Um, the n squared minus 11 and plus 10. So again, our final answer here is n minus 10 times n minus 1. So let's recap. We're given n squared minus 11n plus 10, okay? We have to ask ourselves the question, what two numbers multiply to be 10, but add to be negative 11? Multiply to be 10, but add to be negative 11. Those two numbers are negative 10 and negative 1. They multiply together. Negative 10 times negative 1 is a positive 10. But when I add them, I get a negative 11. So when we write this in fact out here, we have n minus 10 times n minus 1. And that is our final answer.